Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Rectech proudly brings to you one third of the best cooking team in the world. Presented by me, Jordan Johnson. Presented by my man, Chef John. This is Lunch Break. What is up, YouTube, and welcome to another lunch break. I am Chef John, filling in for Chef Greg, who is in Kansas right now at, what is it, the World Disc Golf Championship Professional Finals. Well, shout out to you, Chef Greg. If you guys see Chef Greg in Kansas, make sure you give him a big hug. Take a picture with him and send it to us. But it is Farm to Table Week all week long here at RecTech. We've been slinging you our very best Farm to Table recipes. And we're to keep that train a rolling. But as always, I got my good man JJ on the ones and the twos. So put all your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and just get this out of the way. Let's hit that red rectangle and share this awesome video all over the internet. I'll give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one, smash <laughs> it. All right. Well, today I'm going to be showing you all how to do an amazing stuffed pork loin. Mm. Mm. It's going to be delicious. That is right. But guys, uh, if you have any comments, put them in the comment section. I would love to know what you guys want to see us cook in the future. All right, let's go ahead and get into some of these ingredients. I went and got a pork loin. This is about a three pound pork loin, not a pork tenderloin, pork loin. Uh, we got it at our local grocery store. Uh, I've got some uh, Granny Smith apples that I've peeled and diced up. I got half of a white onion. We got a little bit of goat cheese, some bacon. I'm going to be using that raised warm apple pie, often imitated, never duplicated. The coldest freak of Greek and some of that Ron's screaming pig. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That's right. It is going to be absolutely delicious. Today, I'm going to be cooking on the RT700, our flagship grill. And we're burning this Kingsford maple pellets. It's going to give this pork loin a delicious color and some great flavor. Shout out to you, Kingsford, for making such a reliable fuel. That's All right, right. Let's get into this thing. So, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my handy dandy nitrile gloves. And we're going to go ahead and split this pork loin. Now, a lot of you guys out there, I've seen y'all, when y'all are butterflying uh, pork loin or pretty much anything, a lot of people just go straight in the middle and just open it up so you have one flap, right? Right, that's the novice way of how to do it. So when you close that flap up, everything has a tendency to pour out the front and the back. So what I'm going to show y'all is an awesome way so that doesn't happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on like the top third of the pork loin, right? And we're just going to take our knife nice and even, and we're just going to make a slice all the way across. Now we're not going to go straight through. We're going to try to keep it as even as possible, right? And then we're going to flap that flap open. Super easy, right? Now we're going to come in on the other side of that crease. And we're just going to go ahead and slice this, keeping it nice and even, not going all the way through, but just so that we can unfold this other flap. It's like, a, it's like a pork loin pamphlet. It really is, Jordan. It totally is. All right, so now that we have it at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Right? We're going to use this as our binder to help our seasoning stick to our pork loin. So we're just going to rub it down. Right? And then we're going to go ahead and hit it with some of that Ron Screaming Pig. Super delicious. And that's going to give you a little bit of a sweet and a spicy that's right. uh, hint to your meat here. It's going to go great with this uh, goat cheese and apple stuffing, Jordan. All right, so then we're going to hit it with a little bit of that warm apple pie. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to really accent that apple flavor. That stuff is killer on pork. Killer. All right, and now we're just going to let this thing rest, right? So we want the seasoning to really adhere into this pork. So we're just going to set it to the side and let it do its thing while we go ahead and start building our stuffing. Now, John, 
people out there want to know what exactly is the pork loin? Like, where does that come from? What part of the pig is that? Okay, the pork loin is going to come from the back of the pig. It's that loin muscle that goes right down the back of the pig, right along down the here. rib cage. So, yes, on along, the back. That's exactly right. Along the rib cage. That's totally, totally right. Now, this has definitely has bones on it. You could chop that, and that's where you get your bone-in chops from. That's exactly right. So that's super cool. All right, so I've got the bullseye set to 500 degrees. I put a cast iron skillet on there, and this is what we're going to go ahead and make our stuffing in, okay? That thing is ripping and roaring. So I'm going to go ahead and take this onion, right? We're just going to go ahead and cut it up. Just a quick little dice on that. I've got some bacon here that's rendered down. We're going to go ahead and toss our bacon in, get that going. I'm going to go ahead and toss the onion in. And John, before the show, I was in the kitchen uh, helping you do a little prep. Yeah, you were, George. And then i got to say, the aromatics on this dish are off the chain. This stuff smells absolutely incredible. That grill is killing it. Killing it. Killing it, my friend. All right, so to that, I'm going to take some of this Colton's Freaking Greek, often imitated, never duplicated. We're going to go ahead and give it a little seasoning, because I don't know where you get your bacon and your onions from, but mine don't come pre-seasoned. So we're going to go ahead and hit those with a little bit of that. Now we're just gonna let these cook down, right? Get nice and soft. That bacon grease is gonna start to render out. As soon as those onions start to get translucent, like that right there, that's what we're looking for. We're gonna go ahead and add these apples. Now these are Granny Smith apples. You could use whatever apples you like. What kind of apple guy are you, John? I'm a, I'm a Granny Smith guy. It just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm eating just an apple, Jordan, raw apple, I like those red delicious. They're nice and big, super flavorful. But if I'm cooking, I always want to use Granny Smith. They have just a better, they hold up a lot better. Okay. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of oil to this, a little bit of olive oil. And we're just going to keep mixing this up. Man, as soon as that rub hit that skillet, the world became a better place. You know what I'm talking about? It smells incredible out there, guys. I need you to hit that red rectangle for That's us. That's right. Let's do it in three two, one, smash it. All right, I got some of that raised warm apple pie. We're just going to add a little bit to the top to really help out those apples, bring out that apple flavor. And that's it. We're just going to shut the lid and cook these until those apples get soft. It's that easy, guys. Speaking of easy, though, guys, you guys need to head on over to rectech.com if you have not and check out some of these amazing deals we got going on right now. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, the wild side on sale for only $9.99 with free shipping. Whoa. I mean, that thing is absolutely amazing. We, I've seen so many awesome pictures, Jordan Johnson, yep. of people cooking on the wild side, uh, having their uh, pork loin rotisserie, spinning on that rotisserie. It looks amazing. Guys, head on over and check that out. Plus, right now you can get 220 pounds of pellets with any grill purchase for only $120. Whoa, Jordan. whoa, 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 whoa. That's Wait right. a second. Let's slow our roll there, Jabroni. Okay, let's talk about it. Just like two days ago, it was $149. It was. So you're telling me I'm saving like $19? You sure enough are. If you go on over right now, head on over to rectech.com, you sure enough could save Ooh. a little bit of extra money. And those are all American hardwood Ooh. pellets. And just to like put the icing on the cake right now, $100 off the Matador with a purchase of an RT590, RT700, or an RT2500. Wow, Guys, go on over to rectech.com and check out some of these amazing deals we have going on right now. Make your head spin. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. All right, let's get back into this pork. So it's had a chance to rest. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you all how we're going to finish this thing, right? So we're going to take our delicious apple mixture, right? So nice and hot. Beautiful. I'm going to throw on some gloves real quick. And I'm going to show you all an easy way of how to wrap this up so none of that deliciousness falls out. All right. So you're going to need a little pan. Now, you could use a cookie sheet. Uh, we have half-sheet pans readily available here uh, at Rectech, so that's what I'm using. So we're going to go ahead and put our, po our pork loin on our sheet pan. Super easy, right? All right, next step. We're going to take our delicious filling, and we're going to put it right in the middle of this pork loin. Just stuff it in there nice and tight. Looks absolutely delicious. All right, now 
we're going to take our goat cheese. You could use any cheese you want. Goat cheese, blue cheese, uh, cheddar cheese if yeah. you want. We're Originally, totally we were going to do blue cheese today, but we didn't have any in the fridge. You we said, didn't. fear not. Fear not. We, I saw that we had goat cheese. The goat came through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, goat cheese is a little more fitting for farm to table. It really is. It really is. All right, so we're just going to pack this thing full of this goat cheese all the way to the top, baby. All right, now comes the cool part. So we're going to take our butcher's twine. Right, this is butcher's twine. And we're going to pull out about four times the length of that pork loin. Now, I know you're like, Chef John, that's a lot of rope. But that's what it's going to take. And you know what? You can always, ha you can always cut the rope off. You can't, add more, well, you can't add more rope to it. But it's not, it's not cool to do it that way. All right, so we have our rope, butcher's twine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fold it back the way that we sliced it. So that first fold is going to come over the top just like that, sealing it all the way down. Right, second fold. Look how beautiful that looks. It's gonna be perfect. Okay. Well done, well done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our string and you're just gonna take it and you're gonna run it underneath that pork loin, right? And we're just gonna tie a knot in the first part. Right, we're gonna get it all the way to the end. We're gonna loop it around. Right, nice and tight. And then we're just gonna tie a little knot in this end. Super easy, all right? No big deal. Everybody could do that. Now, we're going to take the rope. We're going to loop it around the bottom. We're going to make sure the end of the rope is about a half inch away from the other butcher's twine. And then we're going to wrap it underneath and then pull straight through. Look right? At that. Super easy. You guys could do that, right? Tighten it down and repeat. So, what are we going to do? Go right underneath the port. Underneath. Tighten her down. That's beautiful. One more time. Now, John, does uh, roping up this here piggy yeah. remind you of your days uh, as a rodeo clown? Uh, actually, it does, Jordan. Those were some good days. Good days. Back in the late 70s. <laughs> That's right. All right, now once you get to this point, what you're going to do is you're just going to roll the port. Roll it on its back. Boom. Right? And then we're going to take the rope, and we're going to go every other string. So we're going to pull it across. We're going to go under. We're going to skip one. We're going to go under this one. Skip one. And then we're going to tie this piggy up, right? And that's how your butcher does it for you. Super easy. Go ahead and order yourself some butcher's twine on Amazon. Uh, I'm sure you could find it at your local grocery store. So we're just going to tie a knot in the end. And that little bundle of joy is ready to go, right? Okay, so now we need to season the outside of this bad boy. So what I'm going to do is take more of that olive oil. We're going to use it as a binder, just a little bit, right over the top, lightly coating it. I'm going to coat all the sides. That looks perfect. Now, we're going to come back over the top with some of that Ron Screaming Pig. Mm. It's a healthy amount making sure that it's totally covered. Boom, super easy. And now we're gonna finish it off with some of that raised warm apple pie. Mm, mm, mm. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Lots of flavors going on here today, John. That's right. That's you got right. your sweet, your savory, creamy. Mm -hmm. You may even wanna Salty. try this one, Jordan Johnson. I might get in there. I'm telling you. All right, so now that you have it at this point, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the RT700. I got it set at 425 degrees. That's the optimal cookie temperature. We're going to bring this to an internal temperature of 165. Then we're going to pull it off and let it rest. Ooh, so easy. Those maple pellets are really going to add some nice color and a delicious flavor to this pork loin. Tell us about that RT700, John. Jordan, I love this grill. It yeah. is our flagship grill. Let me tell you, it has 702 square inches of cooking space, stainless steel build, PID Wi-Fi controller, 40 pound hopper. This one comes with a smoke box attachment on it. I mean, this thing is awesome, awesome, awesome. Can't go wrong, Jordan. Absolutely not. That's right. Ships free anywhere inside the United it's States. Like what now? That's right, Jordan. That's a heavy so duty grill, shipping for free. That's how we do it for you guys. 
George Johnson, you got any good questions out there? People are just like so excited. They're following this along like a story. I right? love it. I love it. And guys, the end of the story is going to blow your mind. It really is going to blow your mind. But Jordan has some very interesting facts. Do you have some? No, you don't have any interesting well, facts. Well, at least you, you covered it earlier about the where the pork where loin Where the pork loin comes from. Found. That's yes, right. Sir. That's right. But, Jordan, are we doing a giveaway today? Not today, John. We're not, not going to do a giveaway today? Not today. Well, it's not my fault we're not doing a giveaway, guys. I wanted to do a giveaway. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Jordan said we're not doing one. We I'm not the not. boss either, for the record. I don't <laughs> make the rules. <laughs> but, guys, if you want this recipe or any of the recipes you see us doing on any of our live shows, all you got to do is go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Put your information in, and you will get emailed this recipe, plus so many more. I also want to remind everybody, May 22nd, Rec Tech Fest here in beautiful Evans, Georgia, at the Worldwide Headquarters for Rec Tech. If you haven't got it marked down on your calendar already, uh, you're going to miss out. Go ahead and mark it down. It is going to be an extravaganza. We're going to have instruction. We'll have food. We're going to have live music. Jordan Johnson's going to be here. Chef Greg will be here. Jody, our barbecue dad will be here. I'll be here. Come say hey. It's going to be fun. What time does that start at, Jordan? Rectech Fest? Yes. Oh, they're going to have to go to rectechfest.rectech.com okay. to find out. There you guys go. Rectechfest at rectech.com. Go check it out. Jordan Johnson, what you got? We have a question over here from Mr. Andy Gowan. It says, hey, Jordan, how do I go back on Twitter to watch uh, your guys' lives? Oh, that's a good question. Tell All of them, our Jordan. episodes can be found under the media tab mm -hmm. on our Twitter page. Just scroll down and find which episode you're looking for. All right, sure. Let's get on in here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one off. I already have one done. Now, this other loin is going to take about an hour to cook all the way through. But, you know, I already got one done for you guys because I'm not going to make you all wait that long. Look how awesome this thing came out. Man, oh, man. Woo, buddy. Is that not pretty, Jordan? It is gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Man, you can see the nice caramelization on it. That skin is starting to get a little bit of crisp on the top. I mean, that is a win 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 so this is how we do this we're going to take our knife and we're gonna go ahead and just discard this rope get it out of here this butcher's twine get it out of here because it's not edible you don't want to eat that stuff right so we're gonna take our knife we're just gonna make a little incision and we're gonna say bye bye to this thing just get it out of here but you can see how that the pork is pulled together so nicely. It looks absolutely delicious. It smells even better than it looks, guys. Jordy, Jordan, uh, Jody said that he talked to Elon Musk the other day and said that he is coming out with smell vision and oh, Red Tech is going to be the first people okay. to get it. All That's right. right. Well, he's got a, I think he's got to host SNL first. Is that what he's doing he's first? He's really busy. Okay. All right. All right, let's go ahead and slice this bad boy. Now, generally, you're going to want to let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let all those juices in there slow down. Let all that cheese cool down a little bit. But here we go. Oh, man. Look, Look at, at that. that. Look how good that looks. Moist, juicy. Ooh, buddy. I'm telling you right now, it's that crust got a little thickness on it. Oh, man. That looks absolutely delicious. And just to take it over the top, you can just take it like this, add a little bit more of that screaming pig right to the top of it, and that is ready to eat. Man, oh man, that looks absolutely delicious. We, guys, we are killing it for Farm to Table Week. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as we are cooking it. All right, you ready for me to taste this, Jordan Johnson? Oh, we are so ready. All right, let's get a little piece. Mm, cheers to you guys, YouTube. Oh. Okay. What are you tasting? It's hot. But you get a sweetness from the raised warm apple pie. That screaming pig has added a little bit of heat to it. Mmm. Creaminess from the cheese is permeated. The goat cheese, Jordan, this is an absolute win. Mmm. 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 Couldn't have been any easier as well. Man, I'm telling you, the RT700 did the damn thing today. Sure enough, did. Shout out to it and shout out to those beautiful, delicious, smoky Kingsford pellets. Yeah, you can see those maple, maple pellets gave a nice color to the outside of this pork loin. They're already in the comments, John, mm. celebrating this dish, talking about how they want to take it and take it up a notch. Listen to this. All right, talk we to got me. My main man out there, Tim Van Valkenberg, he says, hmm, I think I'm going to try that, but wrapped in bacon. Ooh, Ooh. Tim, Ooh. take pictures of that. Hit me up at Chef John 
at RecTech. Send me an email with those pictures. I would love, love, love to yeah, see it. Yeah, we got to see that. That's right. Guys, make sure you're following me on all social media. I'm Chef John Pennell. Just type in Chef John, P-A-N-N-E-L-L. -L. You'll see this big, brown, beautiful face pop up. Just hit follow. You won't be disappointed. And please make sure you're following my counterparts on all their social media. He is Barbecue Dad Jody Flanagan, and he is Chef Greg Muller. Make sure you're following RecTech on all social media because you never know when we're going to go live. And I would hate for you to miss out on some amazing content. Jordan Johnson, you got something? I got one last question for today, John. And Hit this me is, with it. This is a good one. Hit me with it. If someone out there, this is from Dave Stillwell. Uh, if someone out there has a whole pork loin in the freezer, mm -hmm. is this a good dish to make with the whole loin? Yes. Okay. Totally is. It's a great dish to make with the whole loin, and it's like super impressive when you put it on that big platter and go ahead and start slicing it up. It always, always impresses. Love it. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us, YouTube. And remember, take care of one another, listen to one another, and never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Woo! Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. Set it and come get it when the sun starts going down.